Hello, this is Mike Leiber from Northern Kentucky University, and this is a demo on our geocoding software. Now, Mark Walters has just released a paper on geocode with PaperVision 3D, and I am tickled pink. I've been working with Yahoo Maps for some time and have had some difficulties with the markers, and Mark's paper provides quite a bit of insight into how to work with those. I was so tickled pink with his paper that I actually have upgraded his application to the next level. So let's take a look at his application, and we'll come back and talk about the upgrades we've made. Mark uh, published his paper in Adobe Edge, and uh, you can read through that. But let's go ahead and scroll down a little bit and go take a look at the application. You can click on View the Results here, so let's click on that and take a look at what he's done. So here is the application that Mark built. It's a globe that you can spin by uh, moving your mouse along. And you type in a uh, place, for example, China, and hit Add Marker and it adds a marker to the map there in China. And it uses Yahoo Maps to do this, so I was delighted to see that. And you can clear the marker, you can add as many markers as you want. So let's show you what we've done with this application. We've actually made seven upgrades. We've added colored markers, we make the markers clickable, and you get a video playback of some topic of that area in the world. Uh, to make the marker click, there's a little ball we put on top of the markers that you click. We've made the markers persistent. Of course, the problem with Mark's application is when you get out of it and start again, you've got to add the markers because they're not persistent. They don't stay there. And we're using a flat file system based upon DOM and uh, flex sorting. And we're not using a table to table that you might use in a normalized database uh, system, but we're using a table file. We've actually broken normalization, actually increased the speed on how Adobe Flex actually works with the files. We created marker sets, so you can not just add markers, but sets of markers, topics and sets of markers to the program. We've added uh, marker sets, and we can add markers to the marker sets. And we have video and text descriptions that you can input, and a clock. Now, what we've done, we've actually hijacked his application with Cairngorm. Now, I just love Cairngorm. There is a tutorial on my YouTube on Cairngorm. You can go and see it. It's called MVC and Installing Cairngorm in Flex 3. And Cairngorm is very useful when it comes to the sense of hijacking other applications. Just with putting, inserting two lines of code in uh, many of the classes, you can just set your application right on top and use that Cairngorm singleton model to pass data back and forth between that application and yours. Now, of course, all our code is on Google Code for free. Just go to code.google.com forward slash p forward slash flex3 cookbook1 and you can download the source. And this demo is at nkuflc.org forward slash geocoding. So let's go there right now to the geocoding demo. So here's our demo. It has a view stack at top. A little thanks to Mark. Hey, thanks, Mark, for creating this software. It helped a lot. There's an add marker set. We can actually put in the set name and your first marker with the video URL and a description. It plays FLVs. Then you can uh, add markers to that set. There's an edit marker sets which is not available at this point. And you can add a temporary marker like in Mark's uh, application. And set the color here, for example. And then there's a help section. Tells you a little bit what you can do with this software. So let's go back to home. And let's click on one of the marker sets. And we'll just click on the first one, which only has one video in it. And you can see a marker appears on the screen. And there it is, kind of like Mark's marker, but it has a little ball on top of it. You click that ball, and up comes the video and it starts to play. Now let's get out of that and let's take a look at a marker set. Here's one on tourism. So when you click that, you can see markers begin appearing all over the screen with different colors. For example, you can just click on one right here. And up comes a video about that area. And you can see a little bit below that there, in addition, there are a text description of everything that's in that particular marker. And above that, you can actually come up a little bit more. You can actually click on other uh, items or add items to the marker sets. We just clicked on seven revolutions. You may be aware of that. That's actually a, a study out of Washington, D.C. And once again, you can click on one of the markers, and a video will play. So that's the way the system works. Now, if you want to add a marker set, you just go up to Add Marker Set. Click on that and add the name of the marker set you want to create, and then the location and the video URL and choose a color, for example red, and put in a text description. And then if you want to continue adding to that marker set, for example we were on seven revolutions, we could continue adding to seven revolutions. Or you can just basically want to add a temporary uh, marker like Mark's system was. You can go ahead along here, clear the marker sets, so you can just get a clear view there. And we'll add a marker to China, for example. So we made a number of upgrades to Mark's uh, 
application. So once again, let me say how thankful I am that he did create that. Uh, now let me show you actually how it works. Come along here. You want to add a marker set. And I'm going to just say Florida, since I'm from Florida. Florida. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, hit a location. Of course, it's Florida. And let's put in an address. So I have some videos up on the web I grabbed from YouTube about Florida. And I'm going to go ahead and type in that address. And I believe this is in geo videos forward slash tourism forward slash Florida dot FLV. And you want to make sure you got the address right. Now, one way to check to make sure the address right is right is just go ahead and uh, open up a browser and go ahead and paste that address right into the browser. And when you do that, you can hit go. And when you go on that, if it doesn't show up, see, I've got the wrong address typed in here because it doesn't think it came up. So I like to get make sure the address is right before I input it there. So let's see what's wrong here. And I see right away that I have a capital V when I should have a little v. So if you're on a Linux server, you know that's very important. Everything's case sensitive. So now let's check it again. So I've changed to a little v now. So let's go ahead and check that and see if it uh, comes up with it. And see, now it wants to download the video. So the video is there, so the address is right. And that saves me the pain of not having the right address in there. So we're going to cut that. And let's go ahead and cut that out of the address bar and just paste it in. And I'll paste that in. And then I can put this description over here and say the place where I used to live. And I can choose a marker color, and we'll make it uh, orange for Florida, of course. And then we'll hit Add Marker Set. And the clock's going to think here for about eight seconds, and after it thinks, it's going to return uh, the name in the uh, Marker Sets category. And there's Florida right there. So if I click on that, we can see immediately there's my Florida orange marker, and click on that, and Florida video begins to play. Now, at that point, I can start adding markers by clicking on Add Markers and start at doing the same thing. I can put a location, a URL, and a description, and set the color, and uh, it will play. Let's do another one. Uh, location, well, this is not in Florida, but just as an example, Kentucky. And this is where I, I went, so where I went. And once again, let's type in an address. And that is www. Excuse me. Kufls. dot org forward slash geo. This time I'll make a little videos. Tourism. Uh, and we'll put Kentucky. So you got to have that address. Once again, I'm going to check that address real quick, and we'll pop back and we'll 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 go ahead and save that. Okay, I did check the address. It is okay, so we can go ahead and add that marker. It's going to think about eight seconds, and then it's going to come back. And I'm going to check that and see indeed if I do indeed have a new. Uh, so I can click off of this and click back on. And when I when I click back on to Florida, it should add those two markers for me. And there it does, one in uh, Florida and one in Kentucky. Now I kept the color as orange, so just accept that color. But I could have changed that color to any color I wanted. So finally, if you want to get this software, just go to code.google.com forward slash p forward slash flex3 cookbook1. And we'll go there right now. And I'm on my flex3 cookbook. And just go, to just go to downloads. And there's a zip right there. And two people have already downloaded it. I put it up less than an hour ago. So click on that. And the entire zip there, you will have to uh, upload the PHP files and everything else up to your server and configure that correctly. And we should have some videos in the future on how this was made and projects like it. Thank you so much. This is Mike Lively from Northern Kentucky University.